From its humble beginnings in the 1970s, the founder of the Hog Eye Race tells us it's come a long way. It has changed that the first year we had three finishers. We didn't know what we were doing. It was 95 degrees in the middle of May. We had no water stations. We had nobody to direct traffic, and the winner actually ran an extra seven miles. Now a two-day event, the marathon and the half marathon was the challenge yesterday, with the 5K and 10K taking place today. You always have the butterfly in your stomach once you're about to start, and once you actually start, you realize you know, there's a race. And try to compete against the best runners in Northwest Arkansas. And after runners finished up the 5 and the 10K, even the kids got a chance to get involved with the fun. <laughs> but the best part about the weekend for the runners we spoke to was the camaraderie. There's so many people. Everybody loves to get after it. You see people of all ages from younger kids up into, uh, you know, grandparents. And it's really great to see everybody come together and support an event like this. In Springdale, Cole Zimmerman, 4029 News.